On today's episode of Watch JR Go, it's time to get organized in the shop and build out a second set of tools for another tech. What is going on guys? I am Watch JR Go and today, like I said, we are back here in the shop doing a little organizing, a little bit of cleaning up and getting ready to have another tech. Now the other tech, it's not somebody I hired, it's just Eric. Eric needed his own set of tools. Not to mention sometimes we need one guy on one side of a car and one guy on another side of the car. And then when we're done, we end up with a whole lot of parts. So we were like, let's go get one of these roll carts for every project and we'll just organize it. Like this is someone else's Hibusa Geo Spectrum. And this is the Ford Fusion and that is Mini Cooper. So it's pretty easy for us to find what car, uh, you know, when it came off, keep everything organized, and it just helps if you can move everything around the shop as well. So we went to Harbor Freight. That's how every great story starts, isn't it? All those carts came from Harbor Freight. Obviously they have the best price on those. And we went ahead and built them all. We got boxes on boxes of those carts laying there. And then we also got on Facebook and bought used ones too. We literally bought so many Harbor Freight carts. Then Eric bought himself a new toolbox. So he has this white US General box that's all built now. And I might, I might switch up some of the graphics on there, make it look a little bit different, but I've got my orange one, he's got the white one, and they look pretty cool together. So we were like, let's get him some tools. So hopefully we're gonna fill this entire toolbox with this Quinn 428 piece Master Tech tool set. I think it's gonna have everything we need, basically everything I have in my toolbox in one box. So that was an amazing deal. It was like $400 for every tool you should need, I hope. We're gonna open this up here in a minute and try to fill the toolbox up, I think. Like, like I said, I think it has every single tool I have in that toolbox in one box. So. That is gonna be pretty cool. Ratchet wrenches, standard wrenches, sockets, short, deep, extensions, it's all in there. And then we were like, why don't we just fill it up with tools? So we basically have all of the Hercules tools here too, all the impacts, basically everything we could need to work on a car, including sawzaws to drop cats and exhausts, and a, another grinder with a cutoff wheel because, well, we use those two a lot. We use them all the time. We also got the, uh, the brushless die grinder here, so let's open some of this stuff up and check it out. I did already open up the big impact because I, I couldn't help myself, obviously. We've got the red one, we've got the yellow one, we've got every color of these, and I'm very excited to use this one. I wish I had some wheels I needed to take off right now because it has 1,500 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. Sounds cool. So let's open some of these other boxes up and check them out. Uh, I think this, this pile right here should be everything you need to go to work as a tech at any shop for the most part. I mean, you've got your uh, hex drive impacts, which is probably probably the one I use the most is this one right here. Uh, we got like the compact uh, three eights in here. And of course you need this one for all your wheels, subframe bolts, stuff like that. So this should be about every power tool to uh, work on any car. And it's really pretty economical. I'd say I could do just about anything on any car with just the uh, half inch and this one. If you're trying to start small, those two will get you just about anywhere because obviously you can write a hex adapter for a quarter, a hex adapter for three eighths, so that solves all your, you know, adaptability issues right there. So I switch between those nonstop. This thing sounds wild. Triple LED, auto mode, pretty cool. Another tool I've always wanted, the quarter inch. I've got multiple three eighths. I've got three different three eighths um, red brand ones. And we've got one Rich Rebuilds right here. And this is the 12 volt battery as well, so it's compact. Hello. Howdy, friend. You recording? Yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, my bad. I mean, you, <laughs> my you, bad. no, no, I figured if you ride that in from Boston, that was a trip. Dude, I got lost. Did you? I got lost. I assume, yeah. like somewhere around the George Washington Bridge, it becomes a nightmare. So honestly, the uh, the wind was a problem. Uh huh. Uh, bathroom breaks were an issue. Yeah. Uh, food. This was actually a really small gas tank to it, get all the way here. One point five gallons or something. And then yeah. my helmet flew off like a few miles in. Gone. I, this is this is tough, man. But I'm here. I made I, it. Well, welcome to Kansas, man. All right, continue. I'm, I'm gonna bug you. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm 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 just glad you're here. Pretty much everything you need is right here, but there's a few extra tools that will get sorted out over time. But for now, let's open up the big toolkit, start putting all the wrenches in here, all the sockets in here. We probably should have bought socket organizers. That's the one thing I'm 
probably going back to Harbor Freight 4. Uh, I don't know if that kit has the organizers in it. I figured we'd open it up and take a look. But if it doesn't, we need a whole bunch of trays so we can get this all laid out. Back to Harbor Freight we go. I got everything out of here that doesn't exactly go in a socket organizer. All the sockets are still bagged, which there is an insane amount of it. Literally every socket is in there. Quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, basically everything you'd need. Uh, tons of extensions, wobble extensions too, so that's cool. And uh, this is, this is going to be the setup. I think Eric will have everything that I'm missing because I don't know how, but lately two of my tins disappeared. It's also amazing how much room there is in this toolbox when it's not just full of stuff like mine is. So got that one organized, Allen wrenches, hex drive stuff. This is my screwdrivers, but if you don't use the organizer for your screwdrivers, they do fit nicely right there. Although I keep specialty tools down the sides of mine. I like the screwdrivers being there. Um, just, just so much room in this box. Wrenches, I need a wrench organizer. I just throw them all in there for now, but ratcheting, and standard box and open end wrenches. And of course, our power drawer right there. If only we had a charger in that drawer, it'd be the setup. So I'm going to hang one of the chargers on the side of this so that you can just throw batteries on it and keep rocking with an extension cord. Now that we have all these Quinn tools in the toolbox, it's an absolute disaster. Sure, we could like line them up by size, but instead let's just head to Harbor Freight right now, buy some socket organizers and solve this problem forever. Let's roll. We jumped in the old work truck. We're here at Harbor Freight. Let's go shopping. All right, Eric. This is my aisle, it's all I caught them. I can't afford it. <laughs> uh, we gotta find these socket organizers though. Here's what we were missing. What color goes in the white box? Black? You've been working in the shop, huh? <laughs> well, we went to Harbor Freight to get tools and you got tools instead. What's this? What's that? Get it. That's exactly what it is. You're a genius. Eric's over here organizing already. We are gonna be ready to rock and roll. That way. Uh, it goes uh, half inch, half inch, three eighths, four. Oh, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Yes, sir. Straight up American spec here. We got red and blue organizers, white toolbox. And then from now on, every time we add another lift bay, we just need a whole other setup just like this for every tech. As much as it pains me to say this, Eric and I just finished putting together this toolbox that costs less than a thousand dollars, basically. I know some of the Hercules stuff does add up and puts it you know, over the thousand dollars mark. Let's be clear. But this master mechanic toolkit, all these organizers and the toolbox, is well under a grand and take a look at that. It's got sockets I don't have, sockets I've bought for years and years, like 32 and 33 and 30 and uh, what else? Basically every socket you could ever need. For axle nuts, all of the standard sockets, which is wild. Beautiful sets of quarter inch all the way down to four four millimeter, which I don't, I don't think I have a four. SAE down to five thirty seconds of an inch. All these swivels, all these spark plug sockets, all these 12 points, but that's not it. Everything in here is a six point. This always happens. I don't know why. It's either this diameter's wrong or the drill diameter's not right, but I have a bunch of sockets that do that too. They sit high. No big deal. It's on the right peg. So that looks incredible, right? But that's not the end. Here are all the ratchets that came in the kit, along with these uh, breaker bars there. Quite a few of the extensions are wobbles as well. Wobble, wobble. Um, there's a quarter wobble right there, the long one. Uh, crescent wrench was in there. All this came in the kit. All the Allen wrenches you could need. And uh, also, don't worry, I know everybody wants the Allens on their impact now. They're all right there. Torx, Allens. Phillips, straight bits, anything you want. Uh, we're gonna get a magnetic organizer that sticks to the lid like mine and stick it up there. So that's why these are just floating around. Look at that. T70. And then as we go down to this drawer, woo, check out that wrench set. So we have all of our ratchets over here, three quarter to three eighths, 17 to eight mil and then SAE and metric, all on magnetic holders that are super nice to use. The wrenches that are way too big to fit are just dropped in the bottom, kind of neatly. And then down here, of course, most of it's gone. Oh yeah, all these 12 point sockets. There are 12 point sockets for everything. This drawer looks like a mess because I'm actually using all of these tools. Yesterday while we were hanging conduit, working on the shop, 
I pretty much grabbed all Hercules tools to work on the shop and it's all doing great. So we've got some of the 12 volt stuff, some of the 20 volt stuff all over there rocking and rolling. One of the impacts, one of the drills. Um, and this is the big impact in here. We were using the Sawzall to build a pallet for rich rebuilds. I mean, we're using these tools and they've been pretty awesome so far. So from now on, I think this is our default tool setup because it's all lifetime warrantied and why wouldn't you? So there you go. If you got about a thousand dollars to spend on some tools, you can get yourself all of this and at least maybe one of the small impacts or some of the cordless ratchets, which should get you through just about any job on the planet. Honestly, more, more tools that I actually have. I'm kind of mind blown because my toolkit over there definitely costs more than this and it's just Husky, it's not special. Um, it costs more than this Quinn set and has far less tools, especially far less 12 points. Anyway, that was pretty fun. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop. Watch JRGO.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. If only it included pry bars. We literally had to have pry bars to pull this tire off a wheel a minute ago. Guys, there is more money in this toolbox and it has less tools. I am not kidding you. I mean, these ones existed at one point. Don't know where they went. Um, it, it did come with a full set of the metric 3 8s, which I appreciate. It's the most important set there is. But uh, a lot of the smaller sockets were just never there. And of course, uh, the selection of sockets for the half was terrible. So I, I had to fill all that in myself. So this has cost far more than $1,000 over here. And it's like the same exact tool set. I guess that that's probably a lot of the money. Let's be honest. Those icon ratchet wrenches though, those are the real hero right there.